Hey guys, it's Jasmine. I'm back with another video. Today we are going to be making burns out of DIY products that we can hopefully find around the house. So let's go ahead and list off everything that you need to be able to do this. You are going to need some Elmer's school glue. Any kind of school glue will be fine though, but you need just basic glue. You're gonna need eyelash glue. You're going to need toilet paper. You're gonna need some sort of makeup that looks like this bruise palette. Um, I've said this in every one of the other special effects videos that I've made. If you're going to splurge on one special effects makeup thing, get this. It's about $8 and it's well worth it. It can do so much more than any kind of regular makeup. But if that's all you have and you're broke, feel free to use any makeup that's going to be close to these colors. And we are also going to need the DIY blood that we made. And I'll go ahead and leave a link below. Uh, let's go ahead and jump right in. Alright guys, since I, just, since I promised that I would show you guys how to make burns with just stuff that you should have around the house, let's go ahead and just jump right in. So the first thing that you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to use some lash glue. Now this is going to be your substitute for spirit gum. Spirit gum is definitely stickier, but if you use enough of this, It'll do the exact same thing. So your first thing is, your first goal is to use some lash glue on your hand. And then once this is tacky, you can go ahead, I'm waving it right now to dry it off once it's tacky. You can go ahead and apply your glue. First thing you're gonna need is some school glue. And I'm sure when you guys were in elementary school, middle school, there was always those kids that would put the glue on their hand and then they would make it look like it was skin and they would peel it off. So that's exactly what we're doing. We're gonna steal that idea and just add the glue. Personally, I think that's going to be enough because when you're working with glue, you are also going to need toilet paper. Um, the cheaper the toilet paper, the better it works. I like that cheap um, single ply stuff, but my husband is super picky when it comes to toilet paper and he wants Charmin. So, um, unfortunately, I don't have any of the cheap stuff, so I'm going to go ahead and separate my toilet paper into single ply, which is a pain in the butt because it's the expensive stuff. It's hard to separate because, you know, Charmin wants you to keep your paper in one whole piece. So, for me personally, I'm probably going to end up having rips in it, and I'm going to just have to work with what I got. So shout out to Charmin for making very good quality toilet paper. I've never had such an issue separating it. So now that you have your glue put on, we're literally just going to take a piece of paper and we're just going to push it down. And the more it's bubbled up, the better it is. You want it to be kind of gross looking, kind of bubbly, and you're wanting the toilet paper to absorb the majority of the glue and adhere to it. I'll go ahead and come right back when this is dry. Now the difference between using the toilet paper and the glue on this versus one I taught you guys how to do a DIY scar is that you don't want the toilet paper to be completely dry. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and rip off everything else that isn't glued down and it doesn't have to be perfect because what, what burn do you know that is a perfect burn? So we're just going to rip off the edges of this. And if you look, you could almost see that it looks like, like you've ripped off multiple layers of skin. Now mind you, it's obviously not going to look like this when it's done, but it's going to look like this now. So what I like to do is I like to just kind of rub the edges and try and get them to flatten out as much as possible. And it does help if your fingers are a little bit moist. Not much, but a little bit. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to add a little bit more glue to the edges. 
And as you can see, I didn't add much to it, but this will go ahead and glue the bottom parts down. Now, just like in my last video, I'm gonna go. You're gonna go ahead and you're gonna take a uh, toothpick, and you're gonna poke it underneath, and you're gonna pull it up. my foundation I'm using the L'Oreal True Match. Good news is you can get really really cheap foundation even some of the 99 at the 99 cent store or the Dollar Tree that will work just fine since you're not actually wanting to you know use it as an actual makeup and I'm just gonna go ahead and cover up the area with a little bit of foundation. And now remember, a little bit goes a long way when it comes to the foundation because you're not wanting to piece of toilet paper to get wet again. You're just wanting to more or less kind of get it, get some color on there so that it looks like your skin tone. And your goal is you're wanting to blend it out so you don't really see the seam. So concentrate on the edges. And there's not even a need to use any powder. And I think that's okay. I think that'll work. And next, we're going to go ahead and go in with eyeshadow. Now, your goal with the eyeshadow is you're wanting to make these colors. I'm not using these because... This is a bruise palette that's used for special effects makeup, and this is a cream base. But you can use any eyeshadow that will put color on. I have this eyeshadow palette right here that has multiple colors in it, and so I'm just gonna find colors that are similar to these colors, and I'm gonna use them for that. And just like in the other video, you're going to go ahead and you're going to find a, a black color. I'm going to go ahead and find a black color and I'm going to literally stick my toothpick inside of it. And you're just going to go inside and start using it. So next, you're going to go ahead and you're going to find a color that will translate to the colors that I showed you before. color put down your next goal is you're gonna add the blood now this is blood that I made um, I will go ahead and link that video below so that you guys can watch this video to figure out how to make it this blood is 100% edible so you can go ahead and use this on your face and you don't have to worry about it becoming toxic you can make it thinner or thicker and I explained that in the video so I'm gonna go ahead and use my DIY blood since this is a whole DIY project splurge on anything that is legit I would highly suggest this being what you buy I think this was eight dollars this is my baby I can do any I can make most of it but when it comes to coloring unless you go out and you buy a specific really pigmented 
colors of eyeshadow, your best bet is to just buy one of these. This would work so much better than <clears throat> the eyeshadow. But because I told you guys I was going to do it with just eyeshadow, I'm doing it with just eyeshadow. Um, I'll just show you the difference real quick and using this on top of it so you can see how different the pigment is. As you can see, it's already looking a little bit darker right there. See the difference in the pigment. As I said, if you're going to buy anything, buy this for eight or nine dollars. I got this at Spirit Halloween store. So this is what it looks like, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one for more spooky videos. Talk to you later. Bye.